Good morning, traders. Well, let's have a look at the key events uh, in the week ahead. So we've come off a, a choppy and, and mostly directionless week for global markets uh, last week. Um, this coming week probably looks like more of the same. We enter the, the Federal Reserve blackout period uh, ahead of their May 3rd uh, pivotal meeting there. Um, while the economic calendar's lie, there are a few risk events uh, that could see some volatility in markets. Uh, this starts on Wednesday with uh, Australian CPI figures. Now, March inflation is expected to fall from the February reading of 6.8% uh, year on year. Prices continue to moderate uh, in the face of up until recently it was what's been a pretty relentless hiking cycle from the RBA. Um, the consensus is to drop down to 6.5%. Um, but I have seen some big analysts calling for a sub 6% figure. Um, markets are pretty split on what the RBA is doing next week or somewhat split. There's 80% chance priced in of a, of a hold. 20% chance of that 25 basis point hike. So um, if we do get this lower than expected figure, give the RBA all the reason they need to hold. Um, a big beat could make the decision difficult uh, to hold and, and may see the odds change quite dramatically for a hike at that meeting. Um, in the US coming up, we are in the Fed blackout window, so there'll be no Federal Reserve speakers, but um, we do have GDP coming out uh, and also core PC inflation reading. Um, GDP is probably the highlight of, of the week. It's expected to fall to 2% from the previous reading of 2.6. Uh, I don't think this will be enough to dissuade the Fed from hiking rates at their next meeting though with uh, all the hawking heads we had last week all being very hawkish. Uh, P, uh, the core PC inflation too will be released on Friday. It's expected to hold at 0.3% month on month. Um, Japan is a, a, a interesting meeting with the Bank of Japan is their first meeting with their new governor, Ueda. Um, so far, he's been pretty happy to, to you know, talk up the status quo with their accommodative policies of his predecessor. Um, but it only seems a matter of time before something uh, big will happen with this yield curve control. Um, and and never, never count them out and, and surprising as well when we've seen uh, what happened in the December meeting where they did a, a surprise adjustment of that yield curve control. So while I don't expect too much from this meeting, it's it's always a possibility. And we could get some uh, major volatility in the end again if they do surprise.